Hi guys, I'm Mary from Coast of Maine Organic Products. We're here at my house today, and today I'm gonna to try to, once again, plant my fall bulbs. Um, I plant them every single year, and every year to my dismay, the burrowing rodents like the squirrels and chipmunks enjoy the buffet I leave for them because they love the bulbs. Um, so this year I'm gonna try something different. I'm gonna to try to use a half inch mesh um, wire cage around them that I made just from some hardware cloth and some zip ties. So uh, walk you through the process. We're also going to use Coast of Maine organic products to um, get everything planted. So here we go. So this is what I've created. Um, it's pretty basic and it's pretty small. I have it opened. I haven't closed it all the way yet. Um, what I got was half inch um, mesh cloth from the hardware store local hardware store and just some zip ties and then I had to use some wire cutters there's more holes from the stupid bowls so what I've done is I have um, I made these little pieces of um, of the half inch wire mesh I just cut them with wire cutters and I bent one around and then I made two ends so the other end will go on here so once I'm ready I will put some soil inside the container, put the bulbs inside the container, bury the whole thing, and then I'll put the other end on and seal it with the zip ties and then put dirt over it. So let's see how this goes. So the next step, once you've dug your hole deep enough, you wanna make sure you measure again, three times the diameter of your bulb and make sure you keep in mind room for added mulch. Uh, you wanna amend your soil. Um, again, I have some pretty good soil because I do work for Coast of Maine, so all I really need to add is fishbone meal. It's ideal amendment for fall bulbs because it is a natural source of phosphorus, which um, promotes healthy root growth. So if you look at it, it's literally just fish bones. Um, huge source of calcium and nitrogen. It's great for budding and flowering. Um, as you can see, I have set up my cage. So I have um, my good soil inside. I've placed my bulbs. They're tulips. They're two different kinds. Um, one is the um, Triumph Strong Love. So we're hoping that we get some good red. And then I have um, some wildflower um, tulip mixes in there. So I've placed them in there carefully with some soil and then I've added some of my fishbone meal on top of it and what I'll do is I'm going to close the container up with some zip ties and put the end on it and then I'll place it in the ground. Um, before I do that I am going to just throw a healthy handful of fishbone meal in there. Get that soil good and amended. Okay and we're going to close up the, the cage and I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Um, I've closed the sides of the cage just with zip ties. Um, I'm pretty excessive with it so you probably don't need to do it as much as I did but um, I just wanted to make sure that nothing gets in. I've got three other cages ready to go in the hole. You can see that I've added that fishbone meal on top so they're going to get that great phosphorus, give them a good boost to grow some strong roots and have a great spring. Okay, so my bulbs are tucked in for the winter. Again, all I used was Coast of Maine's fishbone meal. Um, that's because I have really good soil. So if your soil is not so great, then make sure you add something to it, something organic. Um, our Quadi Blend Lobster Compost Bright Green Bag, you can't miss it, is available pretty much at any local garden center. Um, we're not available in any big box store, so go to your local garden center or hardware store to find us. Um, so I hope you have a great spring. I hope you get tulips. I hope I get tulips. I hope this video helped you. And thank you so much for following Coast of Maine.